सो हेलो गाइज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो वी वुड बी डेवलपिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग जावा एंड माई एस के एल वी वुड यूज जावा फॉर द फ्रंट एंड डिज़ाइन पार्ट फ्रंट एंड एंड माई एस के एल वुड बी यूज फॉर द बैक एंड ओके सो लेट्स सी द आउटलाइन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट so library management system uh, is uh, something like managing the things that are that happen be behind the library like uh, uh, we know library as uh, we go over there and we take books we read uh, we read over there and uh, those things okay but uh, how it functions like there is obviously a person behind it who runs all the thing like uh, keeping the record of the books you know, what books are available what books need to be uh, added what books need to be removed uh, how many staff members are there and uh, like uh, adding more staffs removing staffs so all these kind of things so we would be designing a system for those people uh, who are working on this so yeah so this is the project and uh, so first of all we would be using java uh, and for that we would be using the id netbeans okay so we would be doing on netbeans and on mysql okay for the database so let's discuss the front end first okay so the uh, we would be using java swing okay and in that we would be having seven no not seven uh, we would be having two j frames okay uh, so the first one would be a login page through which the admin would be able to log in okay uh, so after logging in so after logging in he would be having these options like uh, to see how uh, which books are available so there would be an option to see the available books there would be a second option to see the staff details that are working over there third option of adding new book to the library fourth to remove the book to remove any book if a uh, uh, book is outdated or uh, you know it's uh, not Uh, proper anything uh, the reason can be anything and then adding new staff members and removing old staff members so these functions would be there okay so we would be designing uh, the j frames for all these things uh, using the java swing okay and uh, then we would be moving to the back end where uh, we would be coding in mysql and uh, there would be three tables okay we would create three tables the first one would, would be the admin table uh, where the uh, credentials of that person would be stored who is managing the whole system okay so his uh, his credentials need to be stored over there so that uh, uh, like a person who is not authorized to see into all these uh, you know details should not be able to uh, you know directly look into it so there needs to be a proper uh, login system and so we would be maintaining uh, admin table where uh, the details the credentials of the admin would would be present they can be one admin or two or three uh, as many as the library demands and uh, then uh, there would be the second table a uh, books table that would show the books that are available in the library so uh, their names and other things would be there in that table and the third one would be the staff table where the uh, details of the staff members present in the library uh, would be there in the in that table so and then we would be merging this these two using the jdbc and that that's uh, like a kind of uh, that would come at a later stage so let's first start with the front end part okay we'll do the front end part first then we will go to the back end because it's a bit easy to design and then you know then doing the back stuff 
so we'll start with the login page okay so first of all let's move on to NetBeans so this is the NetBeans and uh, here I'll create a new project okay just a minute yeah so we'll like create a new project new project okay we'll select this java with ant and java application uh, the next and let's give the name as uh, library management system okay and uh, let's take this as okay that's okay now click on finish we don't want the main class okay so we are not cre uh, creating the main class so don't if it is like clicked so unclick it and then finish so a project has been created and now we need to like add a new j frame okay so just a minute here yeah, from here we'll click over here okay and then here uh, swing gui forms and here j frame then click on next and let's give its name as login page login page okay let's finish it and here's the j frame so first of all let's give a label over here in this I'll write as login okay and let's make it a bit attractive Sorry. so we'll make it a bit attractive by just you know the properties we'll go into the properties the text background and so many things are there so we'll change the font over here okay let's make it bold uh, increase its size to 18 or 24 18 would be better i guess and uh, okay that's it and here see this horizontal alignment is there one property uh, i'm changing here it's uh, leading okay i'll change it to center this will shift this login uh, text to the center of the uh, of this box okay so i have done that and uh, yeah that's it i'll just increase this and we can you know uh, change it reset it whenever we want according to a yeah. and uh, okay so thinking of the login page uh, we what we see in a login page we have a user name then a password and then a login button is present over there to, to click on so that we can you know log into the uh, account so we need to do that so for that I'll take one label over here let's take it size as to be this this is okay I guess and here user name okay this would be the user name I'll change its font I'll make it bold and uh, we used 18 for that uh, login thing so we'll use 14 over here so that there's a size difference uh, I guess we should make it 12 it would be better yeah that's looking better so and in front of it uh, just I want to uh, I want another one for the password so I'll just copy this one uh, so that uh, it will you know uh, take the same length and size as this one so that would be easy for me I'll paste it over here and see I got one more I 
I'll change its text to a password it's okay now and uh, now we want a text field in which the username would be entered so let's take the text field over here I'll keep the text field bit larger okay I guess the size is not matching I'll try to match the size here so it's here sorry and uh, edit text I don't want any text over here so I'll just remove the present text and I'll change the variable name to uh, username no so let's take it as username itself it would be easy to if we take the you know same kind of uh, name uh, matching name just take it as user okay and we'll copy this duplicate this wait we'll copy this and we'll paste it over here oh no uh, we need to take the password over here no? so we won't take this one uh, what's this we'll delete this we'll take a password field okay uh, just, yeah password field this one what is the difference between password field and text field I hope you would be knowing that but it's the thing that in a text field if you uh, write anything okay if you give the input it is clearly visible to you but when you uh, but uh, when you are like uh, giving your password anywhere like uh, if you are using Facebook or anything okay if you are going to log in over there and you you are going to uh, give your password so as you give your password that doesn't show it shows a star or a dot over there instead of the letters that you type so to use that kind of thing we need to use this password field okay so if you enter anything over here it will it will take a shape of a dot okay it won't show the characters that you are entering it so it make it is a better way for a security purpose and so i'll change its uh, change, i'll change its text i'll just remove these things i'll change the variable name to password okay and uh, now we'll add a button over here the login button I'll name it as I'll change the text to but sorry not button it would be login so login would be here okay and let me change its font and all so let's make it bold and uh, 14 14 would be better I guess as I think we should make it as 12 that would be more better so let's make it 12 and okay so this is the UI and let's see how does it look when we run it so see here we get this window and this is the username see we can type anything for example my name is Zaman so I'll put Aman over here and password field if I see whatever I am typing you are not able to see it it's a star mark over there and if we um, like when we will click this login button then we would be logging into our account but obviously we haven't given any code right now for this login button so it's not working but uh, in the future we'll, we will be providing the uh, all the codes for that for this login button and then everything would happen so this was the login page 
and uh, after this we would be going to the you know di different pages so for now it is this and after this we will be creating uh, the next thing is what these books available and all so for this we will be creating one more j frame in which these options would be present okay so now we will move to that